This paper is of November 2019. A variant is 2 First question of this paper is of a representation of data 12 tourists were asked to estimate the height in meters of the new of a new building their estimates were as follows 12 tourists were asked to estimate the height in meters of a new building their estimates were as follows 50 45 62 30 40 and so on these are the heights in meters of a new building measured by 12 tourists first part part 1 of this question is find the median and the interquartile range for the data first we will find median to find median we have to arrange the data in ascending order first we arrange this data in ascending order smallest reading is 30 then 38 then 40 again 40 forty five fifty fifty two fifty five fifty five sixty sixty two one ten first we arrange the data in ascending order One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So, process for median is. This is the process for to find the median. Median will be one over two into n plus one value. That will be the median. Where n, n is the number of observations. Observations are. Twelve to so one over two twelve plus one value, which is equal to six point five one over two into thirteen. That is six point fifth value. To so we count from the start. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six point five. Six point five lies here. The mid of fifty and fifty-two. Middle value of mid value of fifty and fifty-two. So we have median. We represent the median by Q two. So, so Q two will be fifty. Plus 52 divided by median lie here 50 and 52. So, so median will be mean 
of 50 and this value is a since this value is the mid value of 50 and 52 so, so we will find it we will take it middle value mid value so, so we will find the mean value of 50 and 52 so, so median will be 50 plus 52 divided by 2 we get 51 so median is 51 now we have median now we have to find uh, the interquarter range interquarter range for, uh, for interquarter range we have to find upper quartile and lower quartile lower quartile of the data is uh, the again we will lower quartile of the data is 25 percent uh, through the data but we will find uh, since this median divide the data into two equal halves this is the first half and this is the second half if we find again median of the first half of the data we get the lower quartile since once again listen this this is the median median divide the data into two equal halves this is the first half this is the second half we will find the again we will find the median of the first half we get a uh, lower quartile again these values are 1 2 3 4 5 6 again by using this process 1 over 2 into n plus 1 value will be the uh, median 1 over 2 n plus 1 value 1 over 2 n plus n is no n is 6 6 plus 1 uh, over uh, 1 over 2 into 6 plus 1 so then we get 3.5 so we have 3.5 3.5 lies here 1 2 3 4 5 is here 40 uh, mid value of 40 and 40 so this value will be the lower quartile so, so we get lower quartile is lower quartile will be 40 plus 40 divided by 2 we get 40 now to find the upper quartile upper quartile we will find the median of the second half this is the second half these are again six values 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we get the middle value will be uh, 3.5 uh, 3.5 value 1 2 3 and 3.5 lies here so, so this is the upper quartile lies between 55 and 60 we will find the uh, its uh, mean to q3 we represent the upper quartile with uh, q3 q3 will be 55 plus 60 divided by 2 we get 57.5 now we have to find interquarter range interquarter range will be interquarter range upper quartile minus lower quartile upper quartile is 57.5 and lower quartile is 40 we will subtract to find the median uh, to find the interquarter range so, so 57.5 minus 40 Finally, we get interquarter range is 17.5. This is the answer. The next part of this question is give a disadvantage of using the mean as a measure of the central tendency in this case. Central tendency is the collective name of mean, mode, and median, but we need only the mean give a disadvantage of using mean as a measurement of a central tendency 
look at this data data is 50 uh, 50 45 62 30 40 55 110 38 52 60 55 40 i have highlighted this value 110 if we try to find the mean value of this data so mean will be affected by this value because this is an odd value in this data this is quite different value in the whole data 110 so we will write the disadvantage this advantage of this is the result of mean result of mean of data will be affected by the value 110 this is the uh, disadvantage of using the mean